Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do more. I'm here to help solve more missing women, children, and men cases. So let's begin. We'll be talking about Jeffrey Dahmer victim, which is actually one of my brothers, Ernest Miller. And he was actually in the movie Boys in the Hood. Now he was on the part when he took Ricky football. And then he was the one who ended up in the wheelchair. But he wasn't really in a wheelchair. And I don't think my brother's a gay. Okay? So let's begin. Okay, this how you look. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, y'all. This some spooky shit, y'all. I just got when I was finding the article. Hey, y'all remember after Ricky got killed and I told everybody to meet me at my house or whatever. And then when they got in the car, it was, it was... My brother, Mr. Ski, Judge Memphis, Ice Cube, my brother, and then, then it was me. Ain't another one in the wheelchair was supposed to come with us, too. Doing that, doing that part, that was when Jeffrey Dahmer got him, y'all. That's why you didn't see him no more in the movie. That shit just sent shit through my body. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not, I know I'm not the only one. Okay. That's why he, and then when he was the pager, he, I think that he said that who was paging him or something. You no, know, we watched the movie. How we watched the movie, um, the other day. Okay, so let's begin. It, it's titled "A Different Fate." Who was Jeffrey Dahmer victim? Ernest Miller. Following the release of the Dahmer Monster, the Jeffrey Dahmer story on Netflix. The world has been left surprised by how a serial killer managed to get away with 17 murders. One of those murders was that of Ernest Miller, and here is all we know about him. Who was Ernest Miller? Ernest Miller, also known as Ronald Marquez Miller, was hoping to become a professional dancer when he was murdered at 22 years old. He saying he know he wasn't gay. And I think when they got that part was from my brother wanted me to recreate the movie or whatever, Boys in the Hood. So we did Don't Be a Menace in South Central while drinking juice in the hood. And he was in the, the one in the wheelchair, you know, the, the funny the funny version of it. Okay, so I think where they got that from. He spent some time working after he graduated from Milwaukee High School of the Arts at Rest Division. Miller was about to start attending classes at an arts college in Chicago before his life came to an end. See that part in the movie, Boys in the Hood? His aunt, Vivian Miller, spoke about his talents and his upbringing. Okay, with a picture of him. He was, his fourth, he was Jeffrey Dahmer, 14 victim. I will. She said he was a talented dancer. He was singing and performing when he was young and lose to sing at church. At Jeffrey Dahmer's trial, Ernest's uncle Stanley Miller spoke about how there is no space for a person like Jeffrey in this world. True. He said there is no place in a civilized society for anyone who shows no regard for life. I'm not for the death penalty, but Jeffrey Dahmer or the perfect candidate. You yeah, ain't lying. What happened to Ernest Miller? Ernest Miller and Jeffrey Dahmer met in front of a bookshop on North 27th Street. Fool, I'm hearing fool. Not really though. He waiting for us, for the scene. He waiting for us to come get him, okay? Miller, we did. My brother just said we did, but he wasn't there. Miller was visiting his aunt in Milwaukee over Labor Day weekend. Dahmer and... So we're going to page you. Dama invited Miller back to his apartment, offering him money for sex. He said, hell no. Miller followed him, and after the act, Dama drugged the 22-year-old and slit his throat. Dama disturbedly kept his biceps in the freezer, painted his skull, and also bleached his skeleton. We still got him. We still got it to him. Who was Jeffrey Dama's other victims? Sadly, Ernest Miller was not Dahmer's only victim. He butchered he at least 17 young men and boys, and sometimes even cannibalized them, which earned him the name of Meraki Monster. The men ranged from ages 14 to 32, and most of them were of gay ethnic minorities. His other victims were, they were all black, by the way. When they say they were white or like Vietnamese, that's because they, he bleached them, okay? 
Um, so let me know who y'all want me to do next. Stephen Hicks, Stephen to me, James Gossel Taylor, Richard Gawaro, Anthony Sears, Raymond Smith, Edward Smith, David Thomas, Curtis Schroeder, Edward Lindsay, did him last week, last two weeks ago, Anthony Hudges, Connor Rack, Send us some phone. I already did him. Okay. Matthew Turner, Jeremiah Wimberger, Olivia Lacey, Joseph Brayhoff. Okay. So if y'all better help with this case, y'all can. I don't do it for the fame of the money. I do it for this what I love to do. And to the real family, the big victim, corporate America, we say shout up. Peace, family.